Good afternoon, our viewers of Women at the Frontlines. Uh, my name is Monica Moding, and I would like to welcome you to this episode of Women at the Frontlines. Our role is to bring you women who will inspire you because they've been there, they've walked this leadership journey in various sectors, in various sectors. But for today, we are showcasing a politician, but also a career a diplomat, and uh, many things that she has done in her very rich uh, life. And I know that somebody can be inspired, particularly today we are going to be talking about women in political parties. How can women be attracted to these political parties? How can we thrive? Because we are looking towards 2026. And we want to see more women joining politics, particularly on the direct seat that we have in Uganda rather than affirmative uh, uh, seat and therefore we want to approach all political parties in the country to see how they can engage with more women and attract them into politics and today I am delighted to be hosting a senior woman in Uganda here particularly right now in politics Ambassador Edith Sempala. Uh, I'm so glad that you are here ma'am. I'm Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you. And for her, it is praise the Lord. Praise <laughs> the Lord forever. If Amen. I don't do that, she will feel offended. <laughs> and I'm glad that she's still sticking to her God because without God, I believe that uh, this life becomes meaningless in many ways. And uh, Ambassador, I would like you to share with our viewership mm -hmm. your life journey, your okay. career in uh, a very long you know career that you had as an ambassador and then mm. the intriguing part of joining politics why politics why now <laughs> and why aren't in why particular aren't? you see yes. so yes. Th th that is what we want to capture and of mm. course uh, how we can participate in politics in uganda particularly those that are interested in joining mm. and as a political party you're welcome okay. to the program well yes. uh, Monica, I am so delighted mm. to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you are one of the women that I really admire. Wow. And, you know, I'm humble. Because mm. of the principles, the values that you have uh, demonstrated. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. So I am um, Ambassador Edith Grace Mpala. I come from uh, uh, Burera in Mitiana district. Oh, Mitiana. Yes. Mm. I have. Um, I went to rural primary school and Amtamba um, demonstration school. At that time, it was uh, um, a demonstration school because we had a TTC. Mm. But as I speak now, the TTC is gone. Uh, the standards have gone down. Of course, most of the public schools. Yes. Mm. So uh, during my time, actually, you know, on uh, uh, smart children were in public schools. Oh. Only those who could not make it into into public government schools, schools mm. uh, were going into private school because mm. their their parents could afford it. Yeah. So then I went to Gayaza High School. Oh, uh, yes, Gayaza. Um, the old Gaya. girls of Gayaza. Yes, wow. Uh, for for mm. Olevo mm. and in HSC, I was in Navumali High School. I so school. much wanted my daughters to go to Gayaza. Uh, really? I didn't get yeah, it is a good there. school. Yeah. Mm. I went to Navumali High School. From there, I was uh, very briefly at Makerere University. Mm. And then I got a scholarship. I went to uh, the former Soviet Union, to Moscow. Wow. Russia. Yes, yes it I'm is so very strange. <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's like going to China yeah. for further studies. Now it is so, you know, it it's popular. It has become mm. more normal. Mm. But at that time it was really, you know, but for me, because I was a, a scientist, I'm a civil engineer by okay. training, mm. I knew that uh, the science in the, uh, in, in the Soviet Union was good. Yeah. Because, you know, o okay. clearly. Mm. Yeah, they were excelling. Mm. Mm. So I went there. I was there during Ida Min's time. Of course, uh, you know, I um, I will not go into some of the challenges I had during Ida Min's time. Okay. Uh, that may be informed even the reason why I decided to leave the country. Mm. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> when I was there, 
you know, I was there for six years. Six years, I have a master's in civil engineering. Wow. And then, you know, it's, I it is, it is so strange that um, we, ha we, we, we have quite a number of civil engineers yes. that are women now. Yes. And I hardly hear you talk about that. And we need to celebrate more scientists. Yes. So I'm absolutely. glad to be hosting a scientist, absolutely. actually. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm. And I think we need to encourage girls yes. uh, to look into the career of mm -hmm. uh, science mm. and uh, technology mm. because we have the brains we, we do. have the brains mm. it is uh, just the stereotypes that may be discouraged Courage the girl child so mm. uh, when i graduated actually i graduated in uh, june uh, no in july and idamin had fallen oh. in april in april so for me, it was like God is marvelous. He has known that I needed to go home. And he has taken away... After a that, long six that, years. Yes. He has taken away the what I thought was the road block. The stumbling block. Yes. Mm. So um, I ended up in Sweden really to just uh, do some shopping and... Uh, and uh, prepare myself to come home to Uganda. When I was in Sweden, I my brother who was working with the telecoms here, I called him and he said, "Do not come." Mm -hmm. And I was the situation like, is not shocked. calm yet. Yeah, <laughs> I was shocked. I was not prepared for that. I was like, you know, I didn't know what to do immediately. Mm -hmm. I was confused. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, so I ended up staying in Sweden. Uh, and uh, then I joined uh, the human rights activist, uh, you know, Outside. organization ah. in, in Stockholm, okay. in Sweden, mm, actually. Mm, mm. And, uh, you know, because we started hearing disappearances, we started hearing torture, mm. we started, and, uh, you know, mm. personally, I am a people lover. I believe that I... Uh, God didn't make, make a, a mistake. mistake. Mm. I believe that every person born has a right inherent in, you know, and mm. the Bible says and that valuable. we are all created in God's own image. I mean. And I take that very, very seriously. And mm. therefore, I don't like torture. Okay. I get very upset when I see people being tortured, mm, mm, you mm. know. So I became very active in the human rights, uh, you know, activism era for, for Uganda. We started, you know, uh, trying to see what can we do. How Outside can we the country. That is post Amin now. Regime. Yeah, now that was... Uh, Obote. Uh, Obote, Obote too. too. Okay. Yes. Mm. So... Then, you know, different uh, politicians started coming to recruit us or to sensitize us. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, the first, the Kaira group came. Then the NRM, you know, I didn't like, I didn't see the Kaira group as a group that would make that difference, mm. you know, because I, I wanted the fundamental change. change indeed. Yeah. Mm. And when the NRM came and they were talking about uh, democracy, about uh, building a foundation for democracy, mm -hmm. for respect of human rights, zero tolerance to corruption. They were good I things. thought that, things. that is it. Yeah. That is what mm. I was looking for. Mm. So in my mind, I thought that uh, it is better I join the politics so that I can be part of the making sure and that the those things mm. do take place. Absolutely. That is how really basically I joined the NRM. I mm. became an activist mm. for NRM. Mm. I uh, chaired the NRM branch in Stockholm. I, you know, later on, I was like a diplomat for NRM. I everywhere. was everywhere wow. in the media, wow. you know, uh, in the state, you know, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in, with NGOs, sensitizing that really now Uganda has a chance to come out. Wow. Wow. So then I was, uh, I was actually... Um, you know, when I came, I did not expect, I didn't lobby, I didn't work for it, I didn't desire it even. It's that what I we call the be, grace of God that, at work. That, that I would <laughs> be an ambassador. I didn't, yes, I didn't desire it, I didn't ask for it, I didn't, you know. 
But when it came, I think because it came really from, you know, I, yes, it was indeed the, the grace of God. Mm. I became comfortable in it. Mm -hmm. And I already was doing it anyway. Yeah, you know, indirectly. In, yes, because indirectly. you were yeah, managing public and, relations. Uh, good enough, they took me back to the Nordic countries mm. where I had been established I was familiar yourself. with. Okay. I must also say that, you know, sw the Swedish democracy influenced me a lot because I was coming from a communist country and uh you know and uh, i didn't like the, 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 yeah the values yes yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, now i could see social democracy ah, social justice social justice yes everything. economic justice equality, equality mm. you know uh and a, a, a thriving yeah a thriving economy, economy to be able to support all ah. that so i so really my training where you know was really my life in Sweden. Oh, yes. You know. Mm. So when I became ambassador, you know, I became extremely active. I was, uh, you know, I was passionate. You were? I was a passionate. We were reading a lot I about knew. Edith Sempala. <laughs> so many things. Yes. 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 Mm. So I was passionate and really, you know, very quickly, Denmark opened an embassy here and our relations with the Sweden, Norway, we are doing well, even Finland. I think they've always been good. Yes. Up to today, probably. Even, yes. Mm. I also decided that, you know, because uh, uh, Iceland is part of the Nordic countries, it must also be part. And I was like, uh, you know, uh, looking at how, we can what bring, is it mm, that mm. we can benefit from uh, uh, the relationship that okay. is mutually mm. beneficial with the Iceland. And I could see fishing. As ah, one area, because they are very good at, yes, yeah. at mm. fishing. Mm. Mm. Then, you know, um, they took me to United States. And when they took me to United States, I was very excited because before I left the Nordic countries, I was very aggressively, you know, uh, uh, promoting uh, trade. Ah, I was very, yes, because for me, it was like, okay, if somebody is giving you food, you know, uh, it is, you may need food because you are, you know, you at the it beginning and, yeah. it was rehabilitation, okay. mm. relief mm. and so forth. But, uh, you know, trade is the one which, yeah, it is better, ah. it is more sustainable, ah. it is mutual. More empowering as well. Yeah, yes, mm. and mm. mutual. Mm. So when I went to United States, I thought, you know, since I was going to a capitalist country, it would be easier to promote trade. Mm. So when I arrived, the, the Agoa uh, was on the table. Mm. Uh, we were promoting very quickly. I became a leader uh, from the diplomatic uh, side, from the African side, and we campaigned for it. We were, you know, it was an amazing It was you an know, amazing campaign. package, I believe. Yes. Yeah. And it is, it, the Agoa is uh, access to the American market duty free and uh, quota free. Okay. So, really, it is it a, was huge, a good, huge good opportunity. Mm. But it is up to us now to produce the product. Where we cannot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the challenge. Yes. They put and the standards to, so to, high. To create an enabling environment for that. Enabling in the, in the sense that, you know, we do not become a traffic for those who just want to transition uh, their, yes, their, and benefit mm. from Agoa through just uh, transshipment. Okay. So that is uh, the enabling mm. environment mm. that, uh, you know, we needed. So uh, we got it. Mm -hmm. We got it. Uh, we had our relations uh, with the United States Thrived. It was leaps and bounds. Mm. You know, we had uh, you know two presidents coming here. Uh, President Clinton had wow. a two-day visit here. Working visit. Yes. Or yes. a holiday. It, no, uh, uh, Americans don't travel. Of course, travel Uganda for is a destination to this for... place. Okay. <laughs> to this, yes. well, our two yeah, yeah. He had uh, an official day uh, visit to, to 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 Uganda, and then he had. 
a, 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 a regional conference mm. where you know he even coined the, this uh, the, the the you know the the emerging leaders African oh, leaders oh, you know oh, you remember oh, that oh, oh yes yes yeah so um, yeah, so and I, actually since then we've not had any other president come no, in we physically. Did. Yeah. We did. Mm. President Bush. Came that in. was my, during oh, my recently. time as well. As well. That was wow. during my time. Mm. Mm. Uh, I mean, the traffic between Uganda and the, the U.S., especially, you know, visitors, members of Congress, senators, you know, the uh, officials. It was really a great, a great relationship. Wow. That is why when I look at, you know, what we have become, I feel sad. You feel I sad. I really feel sad. Mm. You know, we have wasted opportunities. Opportunities. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. um, how then, long has that, uh, in terms of the service, diplomatic service, how long were you there? All together. Mm. I was in the U.S. I was uh, in the Nordic countries. I was there for ten years, mm. and I always say, you know, because there were five countries, so it is two, 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 two pack. <laughs> <laughs> country. Okay. And then yeah. I also said, uh, you know, I, in the U.S. I was there for nine and a half. Wow. And it was a very, very intense and very exciting. Time. I was, actually, I became literally a, lead, a, a leader for the diplomatic corps for Africa. Ah. Because everywhere I was, you know, I was speaking for Africa because, you know, you are talking with a, a superpower, a, super a, a big market, mm. a big economy. Mm. So you must also be somehow bigger. Of course, Pan-Africanist <laughs> as well. Yes, yeah. Pan-Africanist, yes. Yes. So um, then I was taken to to Ethiopia. Wow. I was very excited about going to Ethiopia because now I had the opportunity to see the countries I was advocating for, ah, the other African, African countries. countries. I was on the Peace and Security Council of the African Union. Oh, yes. I brought the, um, this uh, of South Sudan. Mm -hmm. the, the, that was during the... The, the breakaway? Of, no, the, mm. the, yeah, the, it was during the transition when ah. they were talking about the... A government of national unity yeah and uh, the 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 this uh, uh, program of uh, the 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 program of south sudan was being negated and yet they were not really uh, you know the northern sudan was very very adamant very, actually yes they were not doing anything they were just there they are liars basically they were liars mm. I, I don't know about that mm. Mm. yes they mm. were saying one thing and doing and doing the, the other thing mm. and they were not implementing they were real on the contradiction yes, yes. yeah in terms they were not of their implementing the, the 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 peace coalition yes. and yes. everything mm. so i brought the uh, uh, during the time when i was chairing I actually uh, asked, you know, I, I put, uh, you know, Sudan on the agenda. And they were all over me trying to stop me, but my government supported me to put it of on. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And, uh, you know, because I wanted to highlight, you know, and for me, I, I told them that, you know, you, you are making progress. We want to compliment you so <laughs> why, the, why are you again I'm that? afraid of the discussion <laughs> yeah okay so then all of a sudden really i was fished out and taken to the world bank of course at that bank, point yes. a chairperson peace and conflict um, mm. resolution committee mm. or something of au certainly yes. you are now at another level in terms so of so i was taken yeah. to the world bank I was in the department of uh, what would be like foreign affairs okay. in the World Bank. And I was there for four years. It was on contract. And then, uh, you know, I came back. I came Home. back. So when I came back, <laughs> I was happy to come back. Yeah. Because, uh, in fact, when they, they, they brought me to Ethiopia, my first thought was, I'm now near a home. Home, what can <laughs> I do? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm near, I'm getting closer home. Okay. You know? Because, personally, I've never envisioned myself anywhere else. 
other than home. Yes. But for some reason, you found yourself go out to yes. serve the country yes. in those capacities. Yes. Mm. Because my, the reason for that is that my mindset is all those countries we admire, mm -hmm. they were built by the citizens. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. it did not just happen. Yeah. So we can also build our, our country own country to be a promised land, mm. to be the land we all desire, to be a country that takes care of its citizens, that is thriving. Because if you look at Uganda, mm. it is not by accident that we are called the part the of Africa. Mm. It is because we are so potentially rich, we are so beautiful, we have dynamic people, we have, you know, we have everything except leadership. That so, is so deep. Mm. That is quite deep. And uh, I, I believe that is where you derive your calling in politics yes. from. Yes. So where does the politics now? Because there, there are two personalities now. Edith in the, in the diplomatic world mm -hmm. and now Edith in the politics. Yes. I, I don't know where you started from, but I seem to have seen you with also TDA at that time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no. So why the politics at that stage? When I came, mm. I was tempted because the, the, the politics didn't look nice to me. I was disappointed with the NRM, mm. Mm. you know, and it didn't look like it was, you know, sometimes the people say, you know, mistakes. You know, things we do deliberately are not mistakes. Are not mistakes. Yes. Because I they are repeated even yes, sometimes. Yes, yes they mm. are deliberate. Mm. So um, I looked at the, you know, I couldn't go back to NRM. In fact, somebody came and, you know, pushed a card of NRM to my, into, uh, down my door. <laughs> and I said, no, wow. no, the, the, you know, the, the bus is going in a different has, direction. You have, you have left the <laughs> bus. <laughs> you, 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 you got out of it. You yes. stopped, you made a stopover. Yeah, because, no, it left me because, you know, I was on, on the, on what I, I believed were our, our, agreement mm -hmm. our contract mm. even with the people of mm. uganda mm. you know and now they had taken an, another detour or oh, another so, yeah direction <laughs> from oh, you expected to arrive somewhere yes. you did not yes okay so you know so uh, and uh, i i just didn't see my values anywhere else uh, yeah. you know in yeah. in any mm. the, the, of the parties that were there, mm, mm. so I uh, kept a low profile. Mm, mm. Um, when Right Honorable Mama Mbazi came out, I did not join actually immediately, but later on, I thought that maybe you know uh, I could uh, make a difference there. Okay. So I went. I am the one who went and joined. Mm. I, I personally, I am not easily recruited because I know what I want. Oh, you have your <laughs> values. I'm actually looking at you and I want to ask that question of values, but I'll ask yes, it later. Yes. yes. Mm. So I, yes, so I was in, you know, doing diplomacy and international relations for them. Okay. And uh, I thought that, uh, you know, hey, in, 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 in uh, go forward, Actually, that is when I realized and got to know that NRM had been rigging elections. I was told by the friends that in, in, in Go Forward who were involved in, in the processes that. all the yes. time. <laughs> yes. So, and I was like, there I was telling them it was impossible for NRM to do that. Mm. And here they were doing it. Mm. Mm. And even when they were telling me, it was like a joke. Mm. They mm. were joking about it. Mm. And I didn't think it was a matter of, uh, it was a joking matter. Okay. You know, it mm. was a serious, serious matter, matter yeah. that yeah. was violating, you know, mm. what NRM was supposed to stand for. So, uh, then after, of course, the elections, yeah, then of course, because I was so, so involved in, in go, go Forward, I saw the ugly head of NRM, uh, you know, uh, in elections. In, in the election. Because that I followed. had never, that was actually my <laughs> first time 
you know, because as you know, we don't vote uh, outside. Mm. Uh, I was supposed actually to to vote. I vote from Nakasero, but I didn't vote because the night before, uh, you know, you remember they shut down the internet, the internet, mm. the mobile, mm. you know, everything, the mobile, mobile money. money. Yes, internet was and down. And so I was supposed to, you know, I took money to Changkwanz and all those places for the for, agents, for, for the agents, ah. you know. Ah. And I was like, what kind of, you know? kind of electoral commission is this? Mm. What kind of, you know, government do, do we, we have? have? What kind of, you know, and of course NRM was the one in charge, so you know, I saw that as well. Um, unfortunately, after, you know, the elections, go forward, didn't go forward anywhere. Yeah, uh, as a party. As, <laughs> as a, you know, it was... Even a, a political outfit. Yes, it died. Didn't, yeah, mm. it kind of yeah, mm. it died. Uh, so I was there again, you know, in the wilderness. And then all of a sudden, uh, General Muntu and his group came out of the FDC. party, FDC. Okay. Uh, and they, di they made this uh, new formation. Okay. So uh, I knew General Muntu uh, when he was the army commander. Uh, I knew, for instance, uh, his integrity that he had impeccable character. Mm, he, mm, he was mm. very gentleman. He was a gentleman. Mm. He was humble. Mm -hmm. He was. He was all those values mm. that I wanted to see in a leader. Ah, and uh, mm. so I was very excited about that. I knew, uh, but not very closely, uh, Onarebala So especially when she headed the pack in parliament. Mm. She did a good job. I said, let me check out these people, you know. So on checking, I found really that, you know, it is a group of people who are serious, a, a people of, you know, who emphasize value, mm. best mm. leadership. leadership who walk the talk, mm -hmm. and I said, yeah. I'm in the must, right place. This must be the right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, mm. I think, you know, I was in go forward for training. I wow, think. <laughs> such an interesting yeah. journey. And you know, what of, uh, part of the intriguing part is yes. leaving NRM, which is in power, mm. and joining a new formation. And uh, even then, with your background in diplomatic service mm. under NRM, usually mm. that is even unthinkable. It mm. is unthinkable for many a people in this country, Uganda, mm. to leave a lucrative job under the government to join opposition. So I, I, I can confirm that mm. you are a person of principle. Mm. When you decide to do something, you mm. do it because of the principle that you have. Mm. I, I would like you to speak to that later in terms of uh, that which you talk about value-based leadership, mm and uh, the principles that we stand for. What do people even stand for when they join politics exactly. or leadership? You know, yes. It's a big question yes. as we do leadership training. Mm. I want to thank you, Ambassador, this far. Mm. And I think that uh, this is an appropriate time for me to pick thoughts from you concerning Ant. We are now at that level of your life. You are now the National Chairperson Women's League of yes. Alliance for Transformation in mm. Uganda, mm. Ant, mm. in short. Mm. And uh, it's a new, relatively new political party, mm. uh, but I want to pick your thoughts around politics, around it, mm. and how we can engage as women more, mm. yes. knowing where we want to go, even through this program. Mm. So I'd like to, to, to pick your thoughts in terms of the numbers of women right now. We have 189, and it seems as though we keep increasing the numbers based on the, the districts that are created. Mm. And of course, globally right now, we are thinking of parity. How do we reach parity? Mm. Most of the countries in Africa, we have only 10 countries that have hit 30 and above. Mm. That is including Uganda, mm. Rwanda, and uh, some other countries, about 10 in mm. terms of research. Mm. The rest are below 30. Mm. And we are talking about parity. And of course, research is showing that if we continue with affirmative action, 
we may take another 100 years plus or 130 years mm. to reach that parity. Mm. And I think that is unacceptable. That yeah. is one of the things that is spurring me to move, you know, yeah. in other ways, being yeah. intentional with strategies. Exactly. In terms of how do we get more women mm. in these spaces that we are in, in terms yes. of politics. Mm. So I'd like to think, uh, us to think about, to pick your thoughts as a women's leader in a political party in Uganda, mm. in terms of what more we can do in terms of strategies to get more women, more women, mm. yeah, in politics. Yeah, mm. I, I believe that um, if we had we, more women mm. in politics, mm. uh, things would be much better. Why do you think so? Uh, because I believe that uh, women are much more futuristic. Mm. It doesn't mean mm. that all women ah. are, okay. but uh, majority of women mm. we are that is why we're always talking about our children okay we're talking about our children we are talking about the future we are less confrontational mm. we are less confrontational although sometimes you see tendencies of uh, you know trying to fight to be like you men, men do our politics you know, like do, men yes okay yes mm. so but generally we are more futuristic. Mm. We believe in, uh, in in the future, mm -hmm. which is very 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 important. important. Very very yes. important. So, uh, women, we are majority in numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, women, we are the ones who suffer most when things are and wrong. wrong. Okay. We suffer as individuals. We suffer through our families. <coughs> we Sorry. suffer through our children. Mm through our communities, mm -hmm. we suffer. Mm, mm, mm. So therefore, uh, and, and politics is about life. Indeed. It is the air we breathe mm -hmm. is affected by politics. Mm -hmm. The food we eat, <coughs> the health care, mm. the education, mm. you know, mm. everything is affected by politics. Mm. And therefore, naturally, if something is affecting you, you must at least be have able to say. shape it. Okay. Yeah, you have to, to mm, have a say mm, in it. Mm. And therefore, that is a very, uh, the reason why women must be involved. Of course, there are those who say, you women, that is not your area. Mm -hmm. And they make it very, very hard. Harder. You know, yeah. they make it very hard. Mm. I think right now, when you look at politics, you know, we as women, we must fight to sanitize politics. Mm. Sanitize politics. Because there are many women who really don't want to be, you know, to be exposed to the toxic... Beggaries to the toxic environment, environment mm, that mm. politics has become. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we must fight to, to sanitize okay. politics. That's very important. That is very, very important. Mm. We must also, you know, we must, nevertheless, we are, we are going to have to fight to be there in order to sanitize it. Okay. okay. So, mm. so if we avoid it, it will not be sanitized. Oh. People say, Politics is dirty. Uh -huh. And in so many ways, it is dirty. But it is not politics. It is the people in the politics. If it was dirty, then I wouldn't see a person like you, Edith Ambassador, yes. joining politics. Exactly. I think. But because of what you think uh, yes. we can contribute to. Yes. Okay. It is not the politics that is dirty. It is the people who are dirty who go into politics mm. and make it mm. dirty mm. looking. Okay. Yeah. So, um, therefore, Women, yeah, so, so the first thing, therefore, we must do is to create a, 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 a good environment for women. For, for, for women for everyone. and for everyone, mm -hmm. for everybody, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be done. It can be done. If the politics is based on issues, if there is a transparency, mm -hmm. if politics is not militarized, okay. if politics is not monetized, mm -hmm. that may that will make it easy, that is for, easy. for women. Fundamental. For women okay. to participate. Mm. Yeah. So so I think that it is a struggle. It is a it struggle. It is a struggle that we all have to fight, you know. I see some people will because they believe probably they are advantaged. Uh, you know, 
uh, that uh, they are okay. No one is no okay one is in safe. this kind of environment. You remember during the COVID pandemic where mm -hmm. people go to hospital and they expect them to exactly. go for 100 million, 200 million, exactly. depleting all your life savings. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And some were not even being able to, to, to afford it. And, they were then. and mm -hmm. the people were dying, they could not even be buried they because couldn't. hospitals mm -hmm. were saying, no, you have not paid mm -hmm. us. Mm. And and you know if we really you know COVID actually was uh, to me an equalizer. It was a blessing. <laughs> it was a, a teaching. You know. Yeah. It was an equalizer. Ex yeah. It was saying I liked the idea that all had to be treated oh, here. Yeah. No one is going. Mm. So then we have to focus mm. on making mm. yeah. our hospitals better. You know, Places better for all of us. Yes. Mm. So therefore, uh, I think that is uh, you know. Uh, that is what it is, you know. Um, you uh, you mentioned or you, you asked why why A N T. Mm. Uh, A N T is a party founded on values. Okay. Why values? Because we believe that the missing link in our politics, what has actually derailed Uganda from independence, is a lack of uh, you know, of values, uh, you know, or best leaders. leadership. Leadership. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because, okay, you know, um, uh, I think it is uh, John Maxwell who says everything rises and, and falls, falls on leadership. Wow. Yes. Wow. Everything leaders rises. Leaders are mm. very, very, very important because they are the ones who create the environment. Mm -hmm. So definitely, uh, you know, um, we are not talking about, uh, you know, the, the individual, uh, uh, you know, merits of, Merit, of a yeah. leader. Mm. But, but it's the believe, collective. Yes, we mm. believe that when you have values-based leaders, then they will create the environment. They will build institutions, mm -hmm. you know, on you know that to Best run of, the yeah, country, to run the country yes. and strengthen. Them. And they will, you know, establish systems. You know, they will build a culture wow. of uh, or whether you are talking about uh, tolerance, mm -hmm. of give and take, mm. of a winner, uh, you know, uh, of a win win. Win win situation. Win -win not situation, that every not time a you winner takes all. All, all the time. Mm. And uh, yeah. it's not about you as the leader, yes. it's about the, the people. Yes, yeah. it is mm. about the people. Mm. And it is about the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because uh, I think it was J.F. Kennedy who said, do not ask what America is giving you. Okay. Ask what you are giving to America. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. when we build the country, when we put the country before our, our own needs, mm -hmm. the country, uh, you know, will we'll give back. Will give back yes. to us. Yes, mm -hmm. it gives us. Automatically. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I always say, if the uh, founding leaders of of United States uh, will behave like uh, the leaders we have, eh? <laughs> then you know certainly America will not be a would not be a superpower now. Never a hundred. I don't know what. Yes, two hundred plus. Yes, two hundred plus. Two hundred plus. plus yeah. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. So therefore, it is important. It is you know important to have the vision, not for just self, mm. because yes. Self, you know, self, we all love ourselves, mm. you know, uh, and we should love ourselves. But to see yourself, see your, see that, uh, yes, yourself far beyond. Because for me, I always say that uh, the best way to love yourself is to love your neighbors. Wow. Yeah. That is very powerful as yes. well. Mm, mm, yes, mm, that mm. is the, the best way, you know, because you create that environment mm. for yourself. You can imagine having a skyscraper to yourself in, in, in a ghetto eh? <laughs> and you are expecting people to be you wishing you well mm. or you mm. know mm. no mm. they can't wish you well because mm. you have not wished yeah. them well yeah. wow so so that so i so think powerful. it is it mm. is very very important mm. so ant he believes we believe that in building institutions we don't believe in uh, you know uh a, a, a party built around one individual. Mm. We don't believe that. Uh, yes, leaders are very, very important, 
but we, b- we want to build our party, our party. around institution mm. around the structures around you know wonderful yes. i think it's also appropriate me to ask you right now about the question of ant in itself so that you exhaust it at once mm. in terms of our understanding of ant there mm. could be somebody who will watch this video and is like maybe ant is a party to consider mm. how far and wide have you gone in building your party structures mm. what are the policies that can entice a woman like me mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. to join ant for yes. example so it's it's very important that we speak to that because mm. as we run towards the next election in this country Uganda mm. I would like to see mm. such parties Mm. taking up more women yes. in terms of running on the direct seat across yes. the country. So how yes. far have you gone in that kind of mobilization, okay. the party um, structure building? Yeah, mm. we were kind of ambitious, mm. but uh, we were affected by the fact that COVID affected us uh, severely, uh, like it affected, of course, other parties. Mm. And also uh, elections came in, and as you know, we participated. Uh, we participated because we wanted also to, you know, to introduce ourselves to the country. And we had very, very good uh, candidates mm. uh, that, uh, you know, um, but uh, the type of, uh, you know, elections, elections yeah. that we have, you know, I think we were targeted as a, a party because they are, I'm sure they are people who do not want values based uh, <laughs> strong leadership parties. yeah yes with strong foundations yes. and people yeah yeah but we have uh, structures we have coordinators at every district mm. in some areas we have up to the sub county level mm-hmm. uh, we are planning on starting from where we we left uh, so that uh, you know we can build uh, from grassroots uh, we um, we normally what we do, for instance, in a, in a, in a, we did it in Serere, we did it in Namayingo, we did it in Bugweri. Uh, we go and invite everybody to come and participate in our meeting, mm. uh, listen to us, listen, uh, you know, and uh, then we have a conversation, and then later on, those who are interested in joining ANT can join. You know, knowing we like it that people join a and knowing and knowing what knowing it lay, knowing okay. lay, what mm. we offer is what we give, mm. you know. So, uh, we emphasize that uh, you know, uh, values our value number one is godliness, respect, and dignity. That is a very important value for a and uh, the you know zero tolerance to, to corruption, corruption. Wow. managing conflicts uh, resolution mm-hmm. you know we believe in justice we believe uh, in uh, in uh, in respect for human rights so you know we therefore we have an environment and we don't just talk about it wow. we practice it I could see we because practice. when you <laughs> tell me the people that you have, when I reflect on their characters in yes. the videos, I think they, yes, we they, walk they really talk. walk the talk in terms yes. of those values. Yes, we, walk, yes. we, we, we talk about... Yes. So in I could fact, conclude. we are in mm. the process of even developing a code of conduct. What does a, a, a person of A and T, what are the do's and do not? Mm. You know, we don't expect an A and T person to be out there abusing people mm-hmm. because th- that is against mm. our values. Yeah, values. And is enshrined Conflict in our resolution. constitution. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. and sounds quite yes. enticing. And so, I don't know, yes, in terms of gender women, issues. Yes. In terms of women, mm. we believe in equity, equality, and equity. Believe equity in and equality, equality. those yes, two, those are two. Mm. But we also know that women have serious challenges. I think, you know, one I have mentioned that the environment is toxic, but also I think, uh, you know, we need, uh, you know, mindset empowerment, mm-hmm. we need mentoring, and mm. we are going to come up with, uh, you know, a mentorship formal mentorship program mm-hmm. we hope you can participate yeah, in it course. because you are one of the women, women. that mm. we, we believe you know have a lot that can mentor other women mm. we think that uh, you know uh, women young especially young women some of them may 
really have, you know, questions and they have nobody to ask. They have, you know, they are just fishing in, in you know. Yeah, everyone looks yes, out for them. Out for them. Mm -hmm. Yes, so mm -hmm. we need to look out for them. Uh, we have, uh, a, you know, in ANT, according to our constitution, 40% of every position must be women. That wow. is how ambitious we are. But you could even you know. say 50%. Yeah, but there's no harm. Yes, okay. <laughs> but, you know, we wanted to so start that with 50, where 50. we can, you know, manage. In fact, we could talk about yeah. 51 uh, because we are 51 and a yeah, percent in the country. Yes. And be aggressive at recruitment. Yes. I think you can achieve so, it. Mm. So we therefore, you know, invite women who want to a, a good environment. Things like uh, sexual harassment mm -hmm. is forbidden mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. ANT. It's mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. our values. Mm -hmm. It's not tolerated. Mm -hmm. Our leaders are not expected. Our male leaders are not expected to harass anywhere in society. <laughs> 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 yeah, but sometimes they talk about it and they, and do, they do the it. opposite. Yes, I yes. know, yeah, many yes. spaces. Yeah, so, we encounter um, that. Mm. So therefore, we, you know, mentorship is important. Uh, of, of, of young women, mm. uh, you know, we provide, uh, providing the environment, providing training and mentorship, uh, and then, of course, the policy, you know, the, the law. Yeah. That, so do you uh, have yes. a gender policy in place? or Yeah, I mean, those policies are yes. important to mm. know whether you have mainstreamed them. Because it's yes. another thing to talk about it, mm. but in terms of implementation. Yes. And it's a different thing. Yes. Yeah. So we really encourage uh, women, uh, you know, we, women to join the ANT. Because we believe that it is through this uh, collective, uh, you know, um, deliberate values-based uh -huh. mm. leadership mm. that mm. we can actually transform our nation. Wow. Because we are at crossroads, wow. you know, mm. as a country, mm. you mm. know, the uncertainty, mm. the future mm. is so uncertain, mm. Mm. you know, we have never had any peaceful handover of leadership and it doesn't look like we are anywhere near it. But I think together, together, together. especially women, we okay. can definitely make it. We can definitely make it. Ambassador, mm. you have made very fundamental points since you started. Quite mm. uh, instructive uh, uh, the things that you have said mm. in this interview. I, I would like now to take you to the issue of general challenges because I would love to hear women from NRM, for example, DP. Uh, the parties that we know now exist in Uganda, mm. why we are not seeing an increment of women, and yet we have uh, now a, a considerable number of us in political mm. parties. Mm. What is not working well, you know? Or, I, I asked you that question earlier, but I just want to pick more further thoughts on it. In terms of uh, 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 the challenges women face in political parties, mm. are there any of, you know, I know aunt is perhaps quite aggressive, but Women seem not to be thriving very well in political parties. That is my personal view. I don't know what you think about that. What are some of these challenges? Uh, in political parties, mm, first of all, I believe that we women, when we join politics, mm -hmm. it is not just joining a club ah, to be the same. Occupy uh, space. To occupy space. Okay. To be, we, we must join mm -hmm. uh politics and political parties to make a difference absolutely to do things differently mm -hmm. you know where they are not being done mm -hmm. uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, to 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 benefit the people yeah and therefore we must be the voice ah. for Ugandans, ah. for family mm -hmm. we must be uh, voice for community mm -hmm. for social services mm -hmm. eh? we must be voices for equality and equity, mm, you know, in mm, everything. Mm, we mm. must be interested in the land issues. Okay. We must be interested wow. in education of, of, of all children. Wow. By the way, mm. personally, I believe that we women, uh, except, you know, when, you know, people come from an environment of oppression, hmm? 
an environment of oppression because society has oppressed them yes too much them mm. you know when you are coming from what you you need to to you know to believe in yourself mm -hmm. to believe in yourself mm. to be a that the change that you want is in you yes it starts with yourself yes exactly okay yes mm. uh, but we are also the ones who socialize the children first uh -huh. and foremost boys and girls boys and girls you know we are the ones who tell our uh, daughters to go and be overworked in the kitchen mm, while the boys, the boys are out watching TV. Watching TV or having or social have, time. Oh yes, or, or <laughs> playing football outside. So that must that is socialization. Mm, because mm. you the, when you do that, you are not training, you are not socializing your son to be responsible. Mm. So when he becomes a man, he's already he knows that is not his yes. work. Ye mm. Yes, mm. He, he thinks that is not his work. Mm. And therefore, you know, the burden of, of, of women and girls becomes unbearable, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. So, mm. therefore, we must think deeply mm -hmm. and, de and deliberately mm. socialize our children, mm. Mm. you mm. know, mm. In, in, to be responsible, to be equal. That is powerful. Because just because, I mean, you, we all know that... Uh, the best chefs are men. Are men in town. Globally. <laughs> However, <laughs> there is money. Globally. The men will yes. go, even uh -huh. when it's traditional, understood that yes. that so, is women's so work. So then what is it that makes it traditionally a women's thing? You know. What is it? That is the question. Yes. That is the issue you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the mind is a, say, says, and we the one perpetuating it. that, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. that our girls... You know, should learn. Yes, every child, by the way, should learn to take care of themselves. themselves. Okay. Those are very important life skills yeah. that helps them to survive. When they don't, you, yes, mm. when they don't have anybody to help them, mm. they know how to mm. help themselves. Mm. Mm. There's important. no one. Yes. Yes. Very, yes. very fundamental. Mm. I think uh, you've touched on quite a number of things. Many of them. Uh, we have already had a conversation. I would like just to pick your thoughts. You've dealt also with values largely. But mine is to inspire a young woman out there. Mm. If you were talking to a young woman out there in mm. terms of political leadership, what are mm. some of the thoughts you could encourage them on? First and mm. foremost, mm. it is starts with your build your character. Mm -hmm. As a human being, mm, mm, as a girl, mm -hmm. build, invest in your character. Powerful. You know, mm. it is very, very important because that will help you navigate life, mm, you mm, know, mm. and that will attract opportunities to, to you, you. Wow. You know, wow. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so that you are known as a person that is dependable, mm. a person that is respectful mm. to other people, mm. Mm. a person that has a vision beyond yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, that is where it starts, and wow. it starts. It should do. We should actually do that in in schools mm. as girls mm. are growing mm. up, mm. because later on, you know, by the time you come to make a decision that now you should do. Join, Join politics leaders, or leadership. do this mm. career mm. or that career, you know, you need to have a foundation. Yeah. And the foundation, in my view, is your character. Wow. Your, your character is your foundation. And then you acquire skills. The skills. Acquire skills. Be, you know, go be a go-getter. Ah. Look out for opportunities. And you there know. are many. And there are many. Okay. And there are many because mm. you find, you know, people are saying, okay, this program, it is for women. <laughs> this program, it is for young women. You know, don't miss those opportunities. You know, look out for mentors. Oh. You know, look out for mentors. mentors. People who can help you sort out these things. Ah. You know, people who have experience. Who have the values you admire? Okay. Yes, mm. and who can you know? Who can help you? You know, uh, gain quickly. You know the skills, the experience that you need. Wow. You know, we all have, you know, uh, 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 rosin on the backs of mm. other people. You know, no one can say, so you, I yeah. have made it on my own. Wow. We all have wow. been assisted, wow. we have been mentored, mm. we have, uh, you know, 
So look out for people who can, uh, you know, who can mentor you, look and for grow opportunities, you. Okay. Mm. Mm. you know, look out for skills, mm. Mm. you know, mm. uh, in the area you are interested in, mm -hmm. if it is politics, you know, study, you oh. know, yeah, study, you know, be, learn and yes, learn, and learn, learn, all the and time. learn and okay. learn and learning and never ends. never ends. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. We are coming to the end because we mm -hmm. don't want to take longer than this. Yes. Uh, we have to restrict it. And one of the things that I have not picked from you mm -hmm. regards your thoughts concerning the future of Uganda. Mm -hmm. What is the missing link? What do you want to see Uganda become? Of course, I would like you also to tag in that conversation that we have about parliamentary system. Will it work? Will it not work in our time? Just as we wind up, a few thoughts around that. Mm. Yeah, um, Uganda is uh, at crossroads, mm. I think I made, mm. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we must be uh, thinking deeply mm. about and learning from our history. Mm, mm, our mm. history has been very difficult. Mm, mm, mm. We have had changes. People talk about Many changes, oh, we, actually. Must, we must change, change. Yes, we must change. And by the way, change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. It is a must. Mm -hmm. Change will be It there. will come. The question is, what kind of change? What kind of change? That is where the conversation must mm. rotate around. I think we should take a lot of time talking about, discussing, mm, you mm, know, mm. the change we want and the leaders that we, we, we need. We want to bring about that, that we change. Need. Yes, mm, mm. because wow. uh, otherwise, you know, we keep on rotating, you know. Personally, I was, I think, naive. I thought that I didn't want uh, Obote to come back. But I thought that even if he came back, and by the way, he ended up coming back. Dead. Yes. Mm, actually. That he would have learned something. Oh, the second time he came yes, back. Yes, the second time Bought he came too. back. Mm. You know. So, uh, you know, uh, but he didn't learn anything. So you are saying as a country, we are not learning from our past. Yes, we are not, our past is know. not teaching us, mm. you know. You know, people who talk about generation and so forth. Yes, I mean, definitely a generation. There must be a change, mm. you know, mm. within generations. But, you know, when we had, you know, when Milton Obote came to power, he was a young man. Idi Amin was a young man. You know, the only old man that I know in, uh, in all those changes, I think it was Binaisa and, and, and Yusuf, oh, Yusuf, Yusuf Rure. Rure. Muanga and and Rutua, mm. you know the rest were, were young, young young men. They were including young, including Museveni. Yes, at forty-two as president. Yes, yes, you know, and mm. most of the people he was with were very young. Okay. So therefore, being young is very important uh, because I also started when I was young because you have the energy, you have the you know vitality, you have you know the passion and the ideas yes. are everywhere. Mm. But it is not enough. If you are a young person with no character, ah. huh? if you have, you know, a track record, you know, because we can't see people's hearts. I can't see my, your heart, you mm. can't see mine. Mm. They are hidden. Mm. Only mm. God knows. Can't see. But mm. you can, you can, you can uh, understand me through, through my character. track record. Wow. Even the character. Mm. The character is through the track record mm. because everybody speaks good of themselves. Wow. You know, mm. Mm. everybody says, no, no thief says I'm a thief. Okay. You know, mm. <laughs> <laughs> character. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, therefore, mm. um, this talk about um, parliamentary, parliamentary system. system. It is First a... of all, we started off with the parliamentary. Okay. Yeah. I think many people don't know that. It, the first elections we had, the first leader, Milton Obote, ah, was uh, through a parliamentary. Post-independence. Yes, post-independence. Mm, Even mm. I understand in the 80s, okay. it was parliamentary, mm, you know. Mm. So, it has not helped. Unless you are saying that it is going to be something else. Mm -hmm. The presidential has been a mess. Eh? Yeah, of course. So, <clears throat> now, it must, it, therefore... 
And yet the parliamentary has worked in the UK. Okay. The presidential has worked in the US and other places. The parliamentary has worked in, the, I think, in Sweden and whatever. So where do so we go? So it to is next? not that mm. you know, it is the the character, the leaders. You said that it is, uh, you know, we we talked about uh, politics being dirty, mm. Eh? Mm. and we agreed that it is not the politics that is dirty. It is the dirty people that Who are go in politics. Into politics. Yes. So the same thing with this one. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I mean, your thoughts are so, quite distinctive and, <laughs> and so different. <laughs> yes. So, therefore, you can have a parliamentary system and it works if, for instance, the, it has a good foundation. Okay. It has values. Mm, mm. It has a good a culture. value system. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you can also have a, a presidential and it also works. Okay. Mm. But... One wonders why, you know, uh, I think that the reason it was a debate even in, a, you know, in the, in the public is why do you want to do it now? now. You know, why now? Why now? Mm. Of course, uh, you know, um, the president, President Museveni, you know, uh, campaigns are very hectic. Very hectic. Stressful. Very stressful. So when you are no demand, you don't want to to put yourself you will into certainly a stress, probably die in stress, the campaign trail. Stressful <laughs> situation. Yeah. So you know the parliamentary therefore cushions you. Yeah. Yeah. But that is not even the worst. The worst is that you create a system whereby the the leader or the president will not be subjected to, to the, population. the population. And therefore, even in this Gundi, my voters, there no longer will be any voters for, for him mm. Huh? Mm. because the voters will be parliament. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, parliament has a very bad track, track record. record. Okay, you can't trust them. We don't trust them. <laughs> No, because we I was don't. going to ask you. And it is not our fault. Uh, it is their fault. Uh, they have proved themselves not trustworthy. Uh, you know, uh, they changed the term. They, they, you know, they removed the, the, the age limit thing. They re mm. Not only age term limit, term passed. limit mm, pass. Mm. Those, those Critical. two, yeah, okay. two mm. safeguards, they were deliberately put in the constitution to safeguard. Okay. From the, the historical, or you know, challenges, challenges that we have had. Okay. They were removed by parliament. Mm -hmm. Gi out of being given money. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. parliamentarians have become money, you know, lovers. <laughs> so eh? you will feel it is safer for us to stay in the presidential. It is better. Mm. It is better we stay in the presidential. Yes, even if that is not, the, you know, we still are wrestling with the militarization and the monetization, mm -hmm. which, you know, makes it very, very hard. Mm -hmm. But at least, you know, let people have a say. Wonderful. As it to who they you want. You have done us so well at yes. Civic Space TV, <laughs> Ambassador Edith uh, Sempala. <laughs> You have shared your thoughts. I will be also picking thoughts from the other women leaders from other political parties. But okay. basically, we are asking you to, to uh, as, as advocacy that we are doing, mm. to increase recruitment of women in these political yes. parties. So you've shared uh, some good thoughts. And I hope that uh, someone who has been watching and who will be watching this video will pick one or two things, especially the women leaders that we are looking out for. Yes. And I know this is not the last time we are having this conversation with you. We shall be coming back at some point. Okay. But thank you so much for Can giving I us your something? time. Your Can last I thoughts. Can I advertise? Well, why not? Yes. Why not? You have given us your time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, ladies out there, you know, it is our responsibility. Mm. Uh, uh, this nation stands on our shoulders because we are the mothers mm, mm. and therefore we must think deliberately, we must think thoughtfully, wisely mm. and we must participate in politics, I, uh, you know, uh, because uh, as I said earlier, everything depends on it mm, mm. and you will not be spared, your children will not be spared simply because you didn't participate 
we must empower ourselves, encourage ourselves. We must, you know, fear, yes, because I think there are many women who do not join politics because of fear. We must refuse to be fearful because when we are fearful, we jeopardize our future and the future of our children. Wow. Please, wow. yes, mm. be deliberate. Look at all of us, look at the leaders, mm. look at the political parties mm. and join the parties which will make the difference for this country. Wow. Uh, we advocate for, uh, for, uh, for, for leadership um, that is uh, based on values because we believe that with the values, you know, development is a challenge itself, but with the values we can make it. So we encourage young women, come join us. The environment is good in our Alliance for National Transformation. We shall promote you, we shall nurture you, we shall mentor you to become the leaders that you ought to be. Wow. Uh, so welcome to Alliance for National Transformation. Uh, the door is open. We are on Buganda Road. Yes, uh, next to St. Catherine's wow. uh, Hospital. Mm. And uh, yeah, together as a nation, we can turn this country into, into the pearl, the, a true pearl of Africa. Wow, you've heard it from uh, the woman herself, the chairperson of the Women's League of and Alliance for Transformation in Uganda. And, and uh, that is a specific appeal to those who will look out for Ant in terms of uh, a political party uh, and joining it in, in, in taking forward your personal agenda as a leader. I would like to thank you for being with us this far. I think that this is not the last time we have a conversation with the aunt. We will be coming back, having heard from other political parties as well. I want to thank you so much and hoping that uh, in this episode you picked one or two things. I know lots of more women are coming on board here in terms of uh, sharing and inspiring you in your political journey. would like to sign out from here today until we meet on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and shalom. Mm -hmm.